All right, so this morning we woke up early and we came to Signal Point, which is in Tennessee, just north of Chattanooga. So we drove through that and there was a car accident, so it slowed us down just a little bit. But then we ended up going to Mayfly Coffee, grabbed some coffee this morning. So Emily is all jacked up. She's had her Americano and already the views are about to start popping up because we have the ability to look out over the uh, Tennessee River and the valley. So pretty excited, but hoping to see some waterfalls today, suspension bridges, and a few other cool things. I'm just gonna try to keep the kids all excited, keep them moving. different. Yeah, you wanna why? Because they have traction. Hey, your trail shoes are gonna come in handy now, Ashley. Nikes. <laughs> it's like walking, uh, walking the floors of, of a geriatric ward, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> they said that this trail like starts off really, really hard. This trail starts off like this really, really hard. They're like, who didn't report the rocks the first time that they did this trail? Like, this is not an easy trail. <sighs> oh, there we go. The birds are waking up. Your trail shoes? Yeah. You sure? You're all the way back in the <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, no, you no. can do it. If Emily falls, Ashley's like, I'm good. I'm, I'm going down. <laughs> Every step matters, right, bud? Sideways I was kind of just going. This feels like the first legitimate hike we've done. Dude.
my gosh. I was wondering if you were going to try to do that. Keone, Keone. It is a difficult trail. Just saying, if you've got kids, just really consider what it is that you're about to go do. If you're gonna go on this hike, um, we do have a really good kid. Keone is awesome. Uh, the good thing about this hike is that it changes scenery a lot and there's a lot of rocks, a lot of cool things to see. And so he's not started to complain yet that he's tired. Um, I don't think he realizes it, even if he is starting to get tired, so. And then of course, if you've got a little one, like two years old, three years old, baby carrier, like what you see there, is a fantastic investment as always. We've already gone over 6,000 steps. 6,000 steps already today. And that's pretty true because uh, we were in the car to get here and we didn't really walk a lot before we got in the car, so. But we can see the river down below, so that's sweet. This is gonna be sweet, I like it. Oh, that is a really cool bridge. That is a suspension bridge. Okay, signal point, Ohio Avenue Trailhead. And what is it? Three person max? That's awesome. But you guys should come here because it's really cool. Okay, so let's go. Then a big okay. Get up quick. <laughs> Go on vacation with kids, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Keone, what just happened, man? We got wet. It's gonna be a little chilly, but it'll feel good, right? Keone. Keone's doing a great job. He's uh keeping up with Emily. Not complaining yet. No. Yeah, till she falls. Yeah, that little jump right there, Emily, that's how people break ankles on wet rocks. <laughs> they think they can trust it. Like, ask Keone. He knows all about the slipping. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna be slipping a lot, probably. So, Keone, how did you end up falling in the water? Why'd you, why'd you decide to take a jump in? I did not. He didn't. Yeah, somehow that thing is slippery. Yeah. And then I slip and then I try to hold on. But and then 
You tried to hold on, but you couldn't. Hmm. And I slid off the tree. There's no other stuff. It blocks. It blocks. There should be one over here. Uh, Nothing? No. That's cool though. There is a cool little tunnel. I don't know. <laughs> what if it connected? Be a <laughs> How crazy would that? Oh, like a little tunnel? Yeah, like, like a. We got a football, maybe. Yeah, okay. A small one. This is so cool, man. Yes. How do I do this? Then you talk. Oh uh, no. no. I'm just Heck no. You sure? You can go up there. Let's see. I'm not sure there's any way we can get up. Alright, so what are we gonna find back here? That goes nowhere. But, let's see. Anything because I think that's a bright side. Then I'll go see on the bright side. I'm gonna turn the little... Oh but shoot. It leads to the top of the mountain. I am covered in spider webs right now. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I can't climb and hold this. Okay. Ashley, a little Q-tip looking self with that hat. JJ's down there. I don't know, and just some rocks. That's it. I climbed up here for rocks. That's cool. What <laughs> does it say? It says, graffiti. So it says graffiti and then giraffiti. <laughs> and then <laughs> That's funny. Say, do you like see what it says that. under it? Giraffe not fiti. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are great, man. <laughs> who carries who carries a permanent marker with them? People that wanna like who carries spray paint with them? I mean what's the I don't understand what you're asking. <laughs> you want your passy and your money? Alright, well, we're gonna do a search for Alana's money, which is her blankie. She's telling me that she dropped it and it doesn't seem to be in her, in the backpack with her. So now we're walking back just a little ways to see if we see it, which isn't easy because the ground, it all blends together. So, I'm not sure where it could be, but hopefully we find it. Because she won't be happy if it's lost. Whoa. Look. Hey, guess what? We found your money. <gasps> there it is. Laying right on the floor. We found it. Look. Here, I'll shake it out. Okay, here. Okay. We're gonna hold on to it. Okay, don't lose it, okay? You hold it. You got it. You're gonna hug it. Okay, you hold on to it, okay? All right, you're gonna hold it. 
Okay. That's times like those where you lose it and a kid loses it. And then all of a sudden you gotta be careful because I'll lose it. So sometimes I make a mistake. So I did get a little bit heated with Ashley. So later on when we're watching this video, yeah, I'm sorry, but it's hard. Alana, you got it? You're gonna hold on to it? We're not gonna lose it anymore? Okay, off we go. Hike continues by some residential area. Oh, and people with a dog. Alana, you're okay. Go Emily, on. are you okay? Yeah. yeah Emily's knee is bleeding. <laughs> Trying to scare us. Slips. Toilet paper. Toilet paper because we had it. Emily just scared him, Ashley so bad. Ashley's gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, apparently scared. I think I've seen that. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. You did. You did. White check. So Keone, over here, that stadium is a stadium where the mocks play, which is the Chattanooga mocks, and that is a soccer stadium. But they also do other stuff. That's called that's called Finley Stadium. Anyways, we chose this place because there is going to be burgers. There's going to be really good. It looks like some barbecue. Keone is definitely going to be able to get his root. Did you get root beer? No. no. Well, anyways, so we decided to get it because of that. Ashley wanted fries. It turns out they have, like, you know how Taco Bell has a Crunchwrap Supreme? They have a Crunchwrap Supreme, so we'll see how that is. And then I am going to get, there's a, there's like a section of barbecue where it's like pulled pork and chicken. And anyways, you can split it or you can get a whole pound of it. But I'm getting that with fries. Yeah, Milano wants her french fries. Going to get some coleslaw, so pretty excited about all that all that stuff but then there was an outdoor space for kids to play um which is pretty standard with a brewery is that they always have little outdoor places and little games and if you go when there's not a lot of people like right now then it's perfect so that's why we're here oh got it on three or two your turn oh Oh, wow, that's a big throw. Lincoln. Your turn. Here we go. <laughs> that was really fun. Oh, my booty. <laughs> Here you go. Three, two, two one. Woo. I saw. Yeah. 
Huh? Yeah. All ready? We say three, two, one. Woo! Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yeah. So we're gonna do I fire. Got, I got some leaves. Good, Keone's getting leaves. Okay, so you bring the leaves over here. Good, keep getting me leaves. But the most important thing that I've got is lint for my dryer because I'm not just gonna use a, uh, a match, which I could use a match on this and it would catch. Um, but I'm gonna, I will put it in there. So what I'm gonna do on this is I've got a flint steel. And we'll take it and you see if you get it going you got sparks but if we take it in here and oh I think it's about to happen there we go that'll get it going that'll burn right fire needs oxygen that's like it's fuel so the more oxygen a fire has, the more it'll burn, the faster it'll burn. As long as it has the fuel source, so like leaves, sticks, stuff that's dry. And then if it has that mixed with some oxygen, oh man, it's good to go. That's why in a house, you can keep all your doors closed if there is a fire. Keep as many doors closed as possible. If you open a door somewhere that goes outside, that'll feed the fire really, really quick. All right, so you see I just did that, Keone, and it's starting to yeah. smoke. But if I go like this, all of a sudden there's fire. See how that works? It's kind of cool, huh? So it should be. So if I go like this, kills it. There's fire coming out here because that's where there's fuel. Open it up. And there you go. All right. So how are we going to keep it? Are we going to like put it yeah. like down? Yep, and put it in a wedge just like this. And we'll it's still... That. Gonna block it. Well, that burn just like that. Oh yeah, that's definitely. Okay. Good. 